I will make two assumptions about you because you're watching this video. First up, you want to differentiate yourself at work using the power of Python and Excel. Two, you don't want to waste time learning Python and Excel. You want to get the biggest bang for the buck for all the studying that you're going to put in to learn Python and Excel. And you will have to do some studying. So if this sounds right, if this describes you, then stick around for this short video. I will tell you what you need to learn to make the most out of Python and Excel and become a data rock star at work. And I'm talking about stuff far beyond simple pivot tables and Excel charts. First up, and it has to be said, you need to learn the basics of Python. I mean, it's even in the name, Python and Excel. But here's the good news. You only need to learn a subset of Python. I'll have other videos on my YouTube channel that'll talk about this more in depth, but for right now, I want you to know that what makes a lot of Python big and difficult to learn doesn't really apply to you. It doesn't really apply to someone who wants to learn how to use Python in Excel. For example, you will never write your own Python classes when using Python in Excel. There's no need to do that. All that you need to do is learn the subset of Python that is relevant for analytics and data science. That's what Python in Excel is for. Python in Excel is not designed for software engineers and it's not designed for hardcore data scientists. It is designed for professionals like you to make the most with data and have more impact at work. So that's the first thing. You just need to learn the right subset of Python. After that, what you want to learn is the pandas and seaborn libraries. So I'm gonna assume that you don't know much about Python, maybe nothing at all, and that's totally okay. So let me explain why these two libraries are so important. Unlike Microsoft Excel, Python was not originally built from the ground up to work with data. It was built as a programming language to build things like websites and enterprise applications and things like that. So what happened was over the years, many years after Python was created, it was extended to be able to work with data. So libraries like Pandas and Seaborn provide the capabilities in Python to allow you to do the same kinds of things that you do with tables of data in Excel, but in Python. So first up, let's talk about Pandas. So Pandas is the library, is the extension to Python that allows it to work with entire tables of data. So things like pivot tables, for example, that you take for granted in Excel, Python couldn't do those originally out of the box. But with Pandas, now you can. So not surprisingly, after you learn basic Python skills, Pandas is the single most important library to learn because you have to have tables of data to actually do analytics and data science, just like you have to have tables of data in Excel to do the same thing. Next up is the Seaborn library. Seaborn provides data visualization capabilities. So think about Microsoft Excel charts and pivot charts. That's what Seaborn provides, that same level of functionality. And just like charts and pivot charts are massively useful in Excel, so it is with Python and Excel. You're gonna to wanna to be able to visualize your data. So what you'll need to learn is the basics of Python, how you work with tables of data, and then of course, how you visualize those tables of data. Just like you have to do those things in Excel. Now here is the good news. I'm building a Python crash course tutorial series right here on my YouTube channel that covers all the things I just talked about. The bare minimum of basic Python that you need for analytics and data science. There will be coverage of the pandas library and pet coverage of Seaborn as well. So everything that you need will be included in this particular crash course series. And you can see at the time of this recording, I have installation for Python on Windows, Python on the Mac, and by the way, just so you know, this Crash Course series will use a technology called Jupyter Notebooks, but everything in it will actually apply to Python and Excel because 99% of the Python code that you write is exactly the same no matter what technology you use. So all of this will be covered using Jupyter Notebooks, so on and so forth. So if you're interested in getting a crash course in the basics of Python and also eventually learning about Pandas and Seaborn, be sure to check out my Python crash course. With the basics covered, now it's time to get a little more advanced. And let's talk about the stats model library. And what stats models provides Python and Excel are features for statistical analyses and statistical modeling. Now you can certainly do these things in out of the box Excel, you, you totally can, but there are limitations quite frankly. For example, if you wanna do something called logistic regression, which is a super useful data analysis technique, you have to roll it by hand in Excel using the solver. So the stats models library in Python and Excel has none of these limitations about the box Excel. 
you get all the power of Python located right in your Excel workbook to do all kinds of cool things. So in the early days, when you're learning stats models, which I highly recommend, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to limit yourself to a couple of techniques. One is called linear regression, and the other is called logistic regression. And real quickly, logistic regression is where you predict yes, no labels. Should we approve this loan, yes or no? And linear regression is a modeling technique where you're trying to predict numbers, quantities, housing prices, and these things are super, super useful. They are universal skills. Doesn't matter if you work in healthcare or government or marketing or finance or whatever, logistic regression and linear regression are wildly useful skills. And that's what stats models provide you. And not surprisingly, just like I showed you before, I got some good news for you. So when you're ready, when you're ready to get started with a technique like logistic regression, which is super useful, I have a free on-demand crash course that you can take. And you can see it right here. And there'll be a link in the description below this video, as well as in the pinned comment, if you're interested in taking this crash course. It includes a PDF of all the slides. It gives you all the code as a Jupyter Notebook. All the code is 100% compatible with Python and Excel. It just happens to use Jupyter Notebook instead because not everybody has access to Python and Excel right now. Uh, you also get any data and you also get additional resources for continuing your learning. So when you're ready to move into stats models and learn about logistic regression and things like that, check out my free crash course. Finally, we come to what a lot of people consider the single most powerful feature of Python and Excel. Of course, I'm talking about machine learning, or if you prefer the term data science. There is a library called scikit-learn in Python that is the de facto standard for doing machine learning with Python. And that is provided to you out of the box in Python and Excel. So this is going to be your go-to library for advanced analytics. For example, performing cluster analysis on your customer data. And here's the thing you need to know. There are many, many machine learning techniques available in scikit-learn. However, you should focus on just three to start with. And by the way, just so that you know, you might not ever need more than these three. They're that powerful. And once again, these are universal techniques. They're useful for any professional, healthcare, government, doesn't really matter. So the three techniques are decision trees, random forests. Random forests is a machine learning technique that's built on top of decision trees. And then lastly, something called k-means clustering. All of these are available directly out of the box in scikit-learn in Python and Excel. So you can use them to cluster your data, create predictive models, all kinds of awesome things. And not surprisingly, per the usual in this video, I've got some good news for you. And this will be the last bit of good news. <laughs> I've also created some free crash courses on various machine learning topics, not surprisingly, starting with decision trees because they are foundational. This is a foundational machine learning skill useful to any professional, especially those interested in Python and Excel. So we have decision trees here, tuning decision trees, these two really should be taken together so that you can actually build useful decision tree models using Python and Excel. And then of course, I also have one on k-means cluster analysis as well. And these links will show up as well in the description below the video, as well as in the pinned comment. And as with the logistic regression crash course, these use a technology called Jupyter Notebooks, but all of the code is essentially exactly the same. All the scikit-learn code is exactly the same whether you use Jupyter Notebooks or Python and Excel. So when you're ready to take your skills to the next level, here you go. Here's some free resources that you can use. There you have it. Your roadmap for getting the most out of Python and Excel to make you a data rock star at work. I'm gonna put up a couple video tiles on the video right now for some other content on my channel. For example, I have a video talking about why you don't have to wait for Python and Excel access to actually start with it. So that video will be showing up here. I'll also put a tile for my Python Crash Course series in case you wanna watch that. So one of the things I do wanna mention is I firmly believe this to be true based on my work with my clients. In 2024, there are gonna be two kinds of Excel users. Those that have Python and Excel skills and everybody else. And you know you wanna be in the first group, not the second group. Until next time, please stay healthy and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.